Casey Reeve here with SPU Women's Soccer. Casey, uh, you had a big week helping the team to two wins. You had four goals and an assist last week in the two games, and because of that, you were named the GNAC Offensive Player of the Week. Your thoughts on getting that award? Um, I'm really happy. Um, I think our team came together last week and just re played really confidently, um, and it was a great team effort, and I'm really happy that I got that award. You uh, talked about the team uh, playing well. Nine goals in the two games, and this coming off of two games where you were shut out. Why so effective offensively last week? Um, I think the central game, we just knew we had to bring like a high tempo for the game. Um, it was a huge game for us. I just think that tempo just brought like creative, creative like opportunity, um, and it was just great like attacking wise. And then we knew going into St. Martin's that we needed the shutout. So I think we. Haven't been too great at this season, so it was great to get the shutout on Saturday. That was great. You mentioned that it was a 3-2 uh, win Thursday here at home against Central Washington. A crazy game. You had a goal and assist. The game winner was a golden goal right in the last minute of play by a freshman, Sophia Chilzik. Uh, just talk about her play. Um, so it's been great this season. It's been great getting to work with her up top. Um, I think as the season's gone on, we've got gotten used to working with each other and have been playing a lot better with each other as the season has dragged on. Um, her goal on uh, Thursday was just awesome. Like we just all were rooting for her um, and last 30 seconds, so it was great for her to get one in. She has really turned it on lately. Has that uh, helped opposing defenses maybe have to respect her a little more and freed up uh, you a little bit? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, Soph is just, I mean, we're both pretty tall, so we kind of get a lot of attention up there. Um, so yeah, with Soph just playing really well, both they're kind of focused on us two up top, which has helped free our midfield up as well. Well then we'll go to Saturday down in Lacey against St. Martins. Uh, you scored a hat trick. In fact you got the first uh, three goals in that game. Uh, just talk about your own performance there. Um, I, I just went into the game knowing that we had to come out strong. It was their senior day so they had some momentum going into the game. Um, and Arby just talked to us about coming out strong and just kind of pushing the pedal even if we got one. Just keep going two, three, four goals. So it was a good performance. Well, myself and I'm sure most people uh, watching this video probably never even scored two goals in a game. If we ever did, what is a, a person like yourself, once you get to that two, how much is the hat trick on your mind? What's going through your mind? Um, it's on your mind, but I just really, I don't know, it was obviously on my mind in the game, but at, at the end of the day, if we won, we won, so getting the hat trick was awesome. But Great. Well, only 18 other players, uh, or the hat tricks only happened 19 times now total in SP Women's Soccer history, so congratulations. Your teammates got into the act after your first three goals, and they uh, chipped in with three more to make it a 6 0 win, convincing. Uh, how much uh, momentum do you think that will now um, provide for the team as you play your final three regular season games? Um, at home? I think it gave us a ton of confidence. Going into Thursday, we play Western again, which we had a great game against them last time we played them. So I think that 6-0 win with the shutout and just a bunch of goals really gave us a ton of confidence. You mentioned the game up in Bellingham was a 1-0 loss, uh, a 19th minute goal they scored. Uh, they're tough defensively, they've only given up three goals all year, why is their defense so good? Um, I honestly think that they haven't been tested a lot, so a lot of the teams that play them, they just play pretty defensive. Um, and I think they have a great defense. They're pretty solid back there, but if we just play how we have been, I think we can break them down. Great. Um, well, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, you off the field here. First, tell us where you're from. I'm from Fountain Valley, California, but I lived in England until I was nine, so kind of both. Great. Did you uh, pick up an accent at all when you were growing up? Until um, you yeah, I did when I moved over there. I was pretty young, so I lost it within a couple of years. I was going to say, don't yeah. detect any now. <laughs> and then uh, tell us where is Fountain Valley located? Fountain Valley is kind of by Huntington Beach in Orange County, so Southern California. Great. And you've adapted to our uh, Seattle weather? Yeah, I love it up here. <laughs> second home. So. Very nice. Where? Uh, what are you majoring in? I'm majoring in exercise science and then minoring in psychology. Great. Well, we still have you for another here playing soccer for the Falcons, but uh, when your career is over after next season, uh, your collegiate career, uh, what do you plan to do with those majors? Um, I want to go into occupational therapy and work with children, so um, right now I'm planning on going to grad school back home in California, but we'll see, I might end up staying up here as well. So. Great. One last question, and we mentioned you play your final three regular season games at Interbay Stadium at home. You've been on the road a lot this year. How nice will that be to, to finish up here at, at home? It'll be great playing at home. Um, our home crowd is always nice, and it's nice to just be in a routine at home, going to classes, being in your own bed. So it's going to be great ending the season here.
Well, we're hoping for a good crowd on Thursday against the defending national champion, Western. Thank you. Thank you.